Yeah. Yeah. David, what did you make of that, mate? Fantastic. Fantastic. He, he rose to the occasion. I was very worried about this fight um, prior to the um, prior to that knockout. You know, Povetkin was looking that was looking dangerous, putting punches together, punching in clusters, and uh, Anthony Joshua showed something he ha he's never really needed to show before. And uh, he had a solid campaign, a friend with a great game plan. Who came at him and showed big heart. And Anthony Joshua rose to occasion, waited for the opportunity. That jab to the body was killing. Povetkin. It didn't look like much at the time, but he, was, he wasn't throwing a right hand for a reason. He wanted to save it. He wanted to allow Povetkin to feel that it was just a single jab to the body. And when, when the opportunity arose, the chin was there, boom, and that was basically, it was all over from there. But for the credit to him, he got back to his feet and he took some heavy artillery there. And, uh, this came was a more plan. of a credible opponent than, well, listen, than no one, you know listen, what I mean? A lot yeah. of people don't Povetkin. know what they're talking about. Yeah. This was, the toughest fight for Anthony Joshua. If this fight happened five fights ago, Anthony Joshua would have probably lost. I don't think he was mentally or physically in a in a place five fights ago to beat this guy. But because he's had because his career's been structured in a way where he's gradually increased his, his competition, he, he, he was ready for it and he boxed. A, it, was a, it was a great performance. You know, it was a t against a tough guy who was hitting him with good shots, nice uppercut, double left hook, left uppercuts. And Povetkin put on a, a fantastic performance. But you know, the class, the youth, the energy, the size. He's so much of a, a physical specimen, you know, he's, you know, the only guy I think can, can, can touch him is Deontay Wilder. I mean, that's the only fight out there that, you know, no one's sure, no one's sure about it. Everyone else is a, is a reason why. Even though Tyson Fury, is a, though Tyson Fury has been out in the ring for so long, he hasn't had any momentum, but, you know, Wilder and, a, and AJ, they're the two biggest names. They're the two guys undefeated. They're both two specimens, both punched tremendously hard. And, I, and that's, the, that's, that's the fight that boxing won. Hopefully it happens next year, but this is boxing probably won't. Depending yeah. on what happens with Wilder and Fury, it's yeah, not yeah, a given either way, it's, it's not a given either way. That's, that's a great fight in its, in its own right. You know, Tyson Fury, you know, I, I wouldn't have picked this fight for Tyson Fury just yet. I think I'd want him to have another two, maybe three fights to, to find his feet. But, you know, he's back in the game. He wants the big fights and he believes, you know, he's never been beat. How do you tell a man who's never been beat, don't take this fight? He's the lineal champion. He beat, he beat Vladimir Klitschko after Vladimir Klitschko had lost for 10 years. So it's a heavyweight division. It's nice and spicy. It's, it's great. You're not All missing these, the eye, David? Uh, no, <laughs> as a fan, I, I'm, in, I'm in the right place. Yeah. And um, no, I'm not missing it at the moment. No. I, I, I remember the last licks I took to the head. And um, I'm glad they weren't from him, believe me. So David, thank you very much for no problem, the TV. No and uh, you dress like... A little pimp today. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Oh, thanks sorry, very much. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank Top you. man. Thank you.